Hi everyone, this is Tessa, and today I thought that it would be great to show all of you pumpkin carving with my reborn toddler, Amberly Hope. So I will be voice doing voiceovers for some parts, but not all parts. So if you guys don't like that, then you don't have to worry. She's over there having a snack. She's having bananas and an apple cinnamon nature green bar. And she has some milk in her sippy. And she has a little spatula for scraping out her pumpkin. So I have my pumpkin. We got two. I have one for me and one for Amberly. And we have a bowl for all of the yuckies <laughs> that are inside the pumpkins. A scoop and some pumpkin carving knives. They're a little bent up, but they still work anyway. <laughs> and I actually got a pumpkin carving kit a few years ago, so that's why I have those. I have a little container of water to wipe down the pumpkins, and I also have some paper towels. Um, and also, the tablecloth, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's monster high. I am reusing from my niece's birthday party. So first of all, I'm going to cut around the top of my pumpkin on an angle. If you cut it straight down, it'll fall right through, so you have to do it on an angle. And then afterwards, we'll be able to do the fun stuff, scooping out all of the guts. So we have now finished cleaning out our first pumpkin. There are all of the seeds and all of the membranes. There's a whole bunch. This was a pretty big pumpkin. So there's the super duper clean inside. And I will just wipe it out with some paper towels and try to clean up the outside as well. Just because we have some little bits and pieces all over and that just makes it a little bit easier once you start carving because you're kind of starting with a clean surface. So after this pumpkin is completely cleaned up, I will go on to cleaning out the other one with Amberly. I know that she's pretty excited. And she's almost done her snack. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but she's also wearing her Tigger costume. She wanted to get festive, so that is the costume that she is wearing this year. And she absolutely loves it, and it suits her so well. So, alright, let's move on. Amberly is sitting very patiently waiting for me to cut off the top of her pumpkin. She's got her little spatula. She's ready to start scraping. She's been a very good girl, very patient, waiting for mom to finish hers. So here's Amberly's pumpkin. It's a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to cut off the top. 
So Amberly decided that she wanted to be the one to pull off the top of her pumpkin. So I just added some paper towel to make it a little bit easier on her hands. And here we go. Mommy's helping. Yay! Lots of yuckies in there, huh? <laughs> so we gave it a go. And this year was Amberly's first year trying out carving the jack-o'-lanterns and cleaning them out. And she was having absolutely no part of getting her hands dirty, which is so funny because when I was a little girl, I was the exact same way. I wouldn't touch any of the gunk that was inside of the pumpkins. I wouldn't get peanut butter on my hands. I would just be so upset and she is definitely the same but she's got the top over there trying to cheer her up. I think once we start carving she'll get more excited and she has decided that she would like to do a kitty cat so that's what we're going to do on her pumpkin. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it out for her and then we'll be back with both of the pumpkins when we finally start to carve them. So I have now drawn out the face on one of the jack-o'-lanterns the other jack-o'-lanterns over there. The other one is Amberly's, and we're doing a kitty cat on that one. But I just did, I guess, the normal jack-o'-lantern face. I really like it. I'm gonna give it some eyelashes to make it a girl. I'm not sure. But there's the little mouth. Amberly's still here. She's still sticking around. She's getting a little bit tired, I know. And we're probably gonna be heading in pretty soon. It's getting a little bit darker, a little bit more chilly. My city is expecting really, really significant snowfall tomorrow, so we're gonna have to see how that goes. But here's my pumpkin, and we're gonna try our hardest to get to Amberly's. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my little carving knife that I showed all of you earlier, and I'm going to cut out the pieces, punch them out, put them in my bowl, and then I will show you what it looks like. So I finished carving my pumpkin and now I'm on to Amberly's kitty cat pumpkin and then I'm just going to add some little ears to the top like I'm just going to cut them out of paper or something. But here's Amberly. As you can see it's starting to get darker, it's starting to get chilly. So I think what I'll probably do is I'll finish this up and then I will put the candles in them, set them out front and I'll take Amberly to bed. She's getting very sleepy, it's getting colder and it's pretty late. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. But you guys will see the finished jack-o'-lanterns and I hope that you guys enjoy seeing them. And I'll talk to you guys super duper soon. So here are the two finished jack-o'-lanterns, mine and Amberly's kitty cat. And she did get very excited once it, once it was done and the light was in and she could come out in the dark and see them. Usually she's in bed before it's dark, so it was a little bit different for her, but she did enjoy herself. There's the wreath that I made. It's all lit up. It looks really great because it's dark. So I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I think that they look absolutely lovely. So I wanted to thank everyone who watched today's spooky series video, Pumpkin Carving with Amberly Hope. It was super duper fun to make and I really hope that you guys liked it. Be sure to stay tuned for future spooky series videos. There are still a couple before Halloween. And if you guys have been watching my latest videos, then you know that at the end of each spooky series video, I give you guys a riddle and it is up to you to answer it in the comments. And then on Halloween, I'm going to be doing a final video with shoutouts to everyone who guessed the riddles correctly. So today's riddle is, 